Perth and welcome to Channel 5's special coverage of the tsunami crisis that is sweeping across the globe. Earthquake activity around the world has resulted in formation of multiple tsunamis that are bearing down on many different locations as we speak. Tsunami warning stations have alerted coastal regions that they need to prepare for the arrival of giant waves immediately. Oh! Giant waves! Cowabunga dudes! So stop! No, Richard. Tsunamis are not like normal waves. In fact, most tsunamis look like a surge of water rather than a typical wave. Now, can we just get back to the special report, please? Just free the teleprompter. Try to be professional. Of course, Steele. Let's begin our coverage by crossing over to the Joint Australian Tsunami Early Warning Centre for some background information. With us today, we have Professor Floaties, who has kindly agreed to provide us with some background information on what a tsunami is. Welcome to the program, Professor. Can you exactly tell us what a tsunami is? Thanks for the opportunity, Steele. The word tsunami means harbour wave, but they are also called tidal waves. We prefer to use the word tsunami as these waves have nothing to do with the tides whatsoever. So, uh, what exactly causes a tsunami, Doc? Professor. No, Richard. What? Sorry, Professor. But we just had a slight technical difficulty there. Can you please tell us exactly what a tsunami is? Certainly, still. A tsunami is caused by any phenomenon which results in a lot of water being displaced or relocated quickly. Most commonly, tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes where the ocean floor is pushed up or dropped suddenly. Water directly above the earthquake is either pushed up or dropped down as well. This creates a wave which spreads out in all directions from the epicenter or centre of the earthquake. These ocean waves are not very tall but can travel many, many kilometres at speeds as great as 800 kilometres per hour. When the waves approach land, the ocean floor becomes shallower and the waves slow down and grow in height. Tsunamis can also be caused by landslides, volcanic eruptions and meteor strikes as well. Very interesting, Doc. Professor! No, my name is Richard! Ah, sorry, Professor. I think we have a cross line here. But thank you very much for your time. So far, tsunamis have been reported by approaching many different coastlines by early warning systems. Early warning systems? What if a tsunami is created at night? Richard, early warning systems. Now, can you please follow the teleprompter so we can continue? Ah, okay. Sure thing. We are now going to cross back over to the Joint Australian Tsunami Early Warning Centre where we have Sam Nerdberger, who was a tsunami detection boy. Hello Sam, uh, are you there? Hi Richard, great to speak to you. Sorry, I'm meant to be speaking to the tsunami detection boy. <laughs> Richard, I think you are a bit confused. A tsunami detection boy is a floating sea marker that is part of the tsunami early warning system, not a person. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the system? Sure thing. Tsunamis have devastated coastlines throughout history and many people have lost their lives as a result. Tsunamis cannot be prevented so scientists from different countries have worked tirelessly to come up with early warning systems that allow people to escape an approaching tsunami. The system has a detector on the seabed which can detect changes in pressure caused by earthquakes. The detector sends a signal to a floating buoy which then sends a signal via satellite to early warning centers on land to warn everyone. The data this system collects not only detects tsunamis but can tell which direction they are heading and how strong they are. We can use this information to warn people to get out of its path. There are tsunami early warning systems set up all over the world. The tsunamis that are approaching us today have been detected and warnings have been sent so people can take appropriate actions to stay safe. We are truly lucky to have amaz such amazing scientists and wonderful technology at our disposal. Don't you agree, Richard? How am I supposed to work like this? I'm supposed to interview a boy and someone puts a science lady on camera. Richard. Thank you very much, Samantha, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you for having me on your show. 
Next on Channel 5 special coverage, we are going to cross to roving reporter Sandy Beach, who is currently on location at Hillary's Beach to cover the impending tsunami strike. Good morning, Steel. As requested, I am on location at Hillary's Beach to ask members of the public how they are feeling about this impending tsunami strike and what steps they have taken to prepare. Sorry, Sandy, you're at the beach? It looks very much like Kings Park to me. In fact, isn't that one of the highest points in the city? Yeah, all right, all right, I admit it. I'm not at the beach. I mean, come on, there is a tsunami on the way. What sort of madman came up with the idea to send me to the beach when a tsunami is on the way? Psst, hey, Steele, shut the beach yet? I sent you there an hour ago. <sighs> if you want something done, I suppose you have to do it yourself. This is bad as the time you sent me into a forest during the bush rise and the time you asked me to walk around the city buildings during an earthquake. Don't you know, as soon as you hear a tsunami warning, you need to move inland immediately. I found the tallest hill I could and I'm not leaving until I hear the all clear. Oh, and by the way, I quit. Oh, um, well, uh, we seem to be having a little bit of difficulty with the lines, so uh, we'll move on. Hold on, I'm just being informed that our very own Richard Holden is going to the beach to give Channel 5 live coverage of the tsunami as it hits the coast. What, are you kidding? This man is a total lunatic. Oh, um, let's cross to Wyatt Board for this. Thank you, Steele. Governments across the world have been circulating this map to show areas around the world that are at risk from a tsunami. Islands and coastal areas around the Pacific Ocean are most at risk. Experts say there is a large amount of earthquake and volcanic activity here due to the movement of different tectonic plates. This area is known as the Ring of Fire because of all of these events. Unfortunately, earthquakes can cause tsunamis as well, which spells double trouble for anyone in the area. Back to you, Steele. Thanks, White, for that truly great report. Richard Holden here, coming to you live from the water's edge at Scarborough Beach. Once again, I, I mean Channel 5, have secured a world first. I will be the first reporter to ever provide live coverage from the beach as a tsunami hits. Let me describe it to you. As I'm approaching the beach district, there seems to be some sort of marathon or race underway as a lot of people are running towards me. Let's see if I can get a comment. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? Well, how rude! I can't believe people are more worried about a race when a tsunami is on the way! Daddy! Daddy! Why is this man still on the beach? Doesn't he know his life is in danger? Tsunamis move very fast and can't be outrun! Sorry, son, you don't want to turn off anyway. So, shall we get back to what in school? Sure. As you can see, the beach is totally deserted today, which is very lucky as the tsunami is fast approaching. The only sound I can hear is some strange siren sounding in the distance. And the only people I can hear are some very friendly police officers waiting to me I'm standing at the edge of the water and... That's strange. Where is all the water gone? Yay, on the beach. This is a restricted area. There is a tsunami coming and your life is in danger. I repeat, there is a tsunami coming and your life is in danger. You must leave now. Let's go, you lunatic. The previous podcast does not represent the views of this television station and the actions of Richard Holding were not sanctioned by us. Richard will now be put in I mean, holidays for quite some time. We also apologise to any individual who also went on the beach during the tsunami and we hope you survived. Now stay on Channel 5 for the blockbuster movie Aquaman.
had to say it like this. Oh, hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Hi, <laughs> Lai. Let them rub it on, Max. <laughs> Okay. Uh, ah, 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 okay. 